Hi everyone. One of the videos that we did a while back that's one of our most successful videos at the moment on the channel is the one that compared a 4x12 cabinet, a 2x12 and a 1x12. And it was interesting the results we got, uh, but some of the feedback that we had was that the results might be a bit flawed. So we looked into it and we realised that there are things that we could have done differently. So we're going to revisit it today and we're going to make it a much fairer comparison. So one of the things was that the different cabs were different brands, different makes, which could have quite big consequences. Uh, the, they may be made out of different woods, different thicknesses, different construction techniques, and uh, that apparently can really affect the sound quite a lot. Even things like the depth of the cab, the thickness of the wood it's made of. So today we've got three cabs all by Zilla all handmade with the same construction, a 4x12 cab, a 2x12 fat boy, and a 1x12 fat baby. These are all the same depth, they're all closed back, they're all made with the same construction techniques. So we've tried to eliminate as many variables as we can. The other thing is that some people have suggested that the speakers, because we use Celestian Vintage 30s, might have been different and after we made that video, we made the 8 ohm versus 16 ohm video, which I'll link in the description, and it turns out the two speakers really do have quite a different sound. And it turns out it's to do with the voice coil winding on the 16 ohm having more turns of copper, so actually giving it a brighter tone, which usually apparently you find the 16 ohm speaker in 4x12s. So, what we're going to do today is we're using 16 ohm vintage 30 speakers in all three cabinets and they're the, the same type because also apparently there are kind of special versions that were made for Marshall and Mesa that are actually not the same as a standard vintage 30. So we're using a stock standard V30 and they're all the same. They've all been broken in. They're all as similar as we can get them. In fact, I'm actually going to use the same 16 ohm vintage 30 in the 2x12 and 1x12. I'm just going to pull it out and wire it in both times. And I'm going to use two vintage 30s in the 212, four vintage 30s in the 412, so there's nothing going on either with different speakers affecting the resonance or anything like that. It's all going to be as level as we can make it. I'm going to use a Shure SM57 and a Sennheiser 421 together on the same speaker each time. On the 4x12 particularly, we're going to use one of the top two speakers because apparently if you use the lower speakers with them being near the floor, that can cause some resonance issues. So we're going to keep each speaker away from the floor in roughly the same position. Now, everything being said, it's about as far as we can make it, so here are the results.
hope you found this interesting because it's certainly a fascinating subject. Those variances really, I mean, we've eliminated everything we can. So anything you hear that's different now in those cabinets is to do with the construction and the size and the number of speakers and maybe the power handling as well. And because it's the same amp, it's the same reamped settings every time. The amp is exactly the same time after time. So anything that's left must be the difference between a two, a four and a one by 12. And personally, I'm gonna be recording a lot more in the studio with a 112 now because I feel like the focus that you can get from that 112, that tightness, really plays well into a mix. It might not sound the best, depending on your opinion, on its own. But as a studio engineer, I don't use a guitar sound on its own. It's always in the context of a mix. The mix comes first. So that's what I'm gonna be doing. Let me know what you think about it and uh, get typing in the comments because we want to hear your opinions. Uh, hit the subscribe button if you haven't already hit the sub button because that really helps us to grow and hit the like button because that helps more people see this video. And uh, big thanks to our patrons on Patreon. Every video that we do is supported directly by you. So if you want to see more of this kind of stuff, get on the Patreon campaign, help us out. Thanks for watching. I'm Adam Steele for the Hot Pole Studios and we'll see you soon.